last chunk of the Gulf Coast states in the orange and the red for strong and severe thunderstorms stretching up into the Ohio Valley as well. So a lot of storms possible, rain and gusty winds, still kind of rough tornadoes as well. And this is definitely a sign of spring. Also, the springtime means a lot more people are getting outdoors. And one thing they're doing, camping. But when packing for your camping trip, remember spring can also deliver extreme wet and cold weather and much without much warning as well. Now to get you prepared for your next trip, Toby O'Rourke joins us now in studio. She's the Chief Operating Officer for KOA, or Campgrounds of America. Thanks for joining Thank us. You. Let's talk about this. I showed you the forecast, yes. severe weather across a good chunk of the southeast. What are things people can do to keep safe if they're out there camping? In the world where they don't have a building to go to, mm -hmm. you're in tents and you have severe storms coming your way. Right, KOA, we try to anticipate every scenario. So if you're one of our campgrounds, we've got trace staff that can help in any situation. But I think part of being safe is being comfortable, so make sure you've got plenty of options for clothes. You want to stay dry, particularly with your kids, which I can attest to. So bring lots of extra clothes. If you're in a tent, make sure you've got a tarp. Bring a fire starter, waterproof matches, you know, things like first aid kits. And I think the phone is the most important thing you can take with you while camping. It's really the Swiss Army knife of camping, so you can keep up on what weather's coming in and be prepared. Okay, when you actually have your phone, your other electronic devices, there's no tree you can plug into yeah. to get some power. So how can you keep your power up on your phone uh, when you're camping? Yeah, again, at private campgrounds, you know, electricity is very important to us. There's always a place to plug in. Um, there's also some, some unique products in the market, such as this one, which you actually call a kettle charger. So you fill this with water, get it on your camp stove for the heat source, and then what's really interesting about it is you can plug your phone right in here. Wow. Keep charged up. We know a lot That's of people are online. You know, well, water for coffee or yeah. tea. Well, I mean, some stats say that 61% of households now are actually out there camping. So, right. who is out there doing all this camping? A lot of people camp. It's crazy. 75 million American households are campers. We're seeing a lot of growth in millennials camping, a lot more diversity coming into camping. I think people are just really interested in the outdoors. They're looking for ways to reduce stress. They want to spend time with family and friends. And camping's a great opportunity to do both of those things. My wow, 11-year-old the Boy Scout just went on a two-day, two-night camp. We have a black, so it is getting very, very popular. Absolutely. Well, let's talk about some of the things you need. What are the must-haves when you get out there and enjoy the camping? Well, lights, you know, I think we're important. We were talking safety earlier. You definitely want to make sure you can get around in the dark. Um, and stoves, particularly if you're near tents, you want to have a nice way to you make breakfast in the morning, get to your coffee. It's pretty important for camping. And again, I know we're getting into more popular months, spring and summer. What about locations? What are the best locations to get out there and do some camping? We have 500 locations across the U.S. and Canada. So people are camping all over North America. We know the national parks are really popular and they fill up fast, so I'd suggest getting your reservations at the parks or the campgrounds in the parks. But you know, in the East Coast, we've got campground down at Sugarloaf Key, for example, all the way up to Watkins Glen, New York, and we're Harbor, Maine. And just like getting a hotel, you do need to have reservations for campgrounds too? Yeah, they fill up fast. I would suggest like going to KOA.com now, and get on our mobile app, make your reservations for summer. Um, you know, summer is precious time, just a few short weekends. So Definitely prepare, 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 get your things like your tents and your stove, and I guess you need fuel as well for the stove. Oh, yeah, don't forget propane. <laughs> All right. Feel free to work for Campgrounds of America. Thank you so much for joining us. And hey, well, much more of your forecast for severe weather through the weekend and next week coming up right after this.